What's up, FOA squad? I'm Anthony, and welcome to our channel, Life with Anthony. I hope that you guys are doing well out there. Winter has set in. It is here, no doubt, with the temperatures that we have been having lately. So I thought it would be a good idea for me to make a winter soup inside of the car. So today I'm going to be making a nice, simple cream of broccoli, potatoes, and cheese soup using my rice cooker as well as my thermo, uh, thermos kettle. So let's get right into this and start with the ingredients. I have some cheddar cheese. I have two cans, two cans of cream of broccoli. bag of frozen broccoli florets and I have four red potatoes don't know if I'm gonna use all four or not but that's how many I bought for now all right so the first thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and get everything into my rice cooker here everything now I'm going to use my my thermos kettle to cook my potatoes in. I already have it on. If you can see the red light or not, I don't know if you can. So it's, it's already boiling some water. All right, so let's get going here. Let me get some of this stuff out the way till I need them. And let's start with this uh, cream of broccoli here. So we got two cans of that. That's gonna go inside of the thermos kettle, I mean, uh, the rice cooker. I'm gonna need you to go inside the bag, not outside the bag. My trash bag don't wanna act right. So I'm gonna sit his little behind a little closer. And in goes the second can. Yeah. This cooking inside of the car is a little challenging. I'm not gonna lie. But I try to uh, prep myself as best I can. <laughs> and I did bring some napkins somewhere here. Oh, my little strainer wants to make an appearance. All right, so I got that in there. Next thing I wanna do is I put my broccoli in there as well. Now, hopefully that some of the, uh, this broccoli, when it unthaws, will <clears throat> give me some more uh, liquid in here. So we'll put this broccoli in here. All righty. I'm making a mess. But that's how it's going to be. <laughs> that's how it's going to be until I learn how to figure it out up in here. Now I'm not going to put my cheese on until last. I may not even put it on until I, you know, put my uh, food in the bowl. All right, so that's all that's going to go in there. I'm just going to go ahead and lock this down now. And I'm just going to put this on slow cook for about 30 minutes because basically I just need to uh, cream of broccoli to heat up and for the broccoli to become soft. All right, now that that's on its way, let's get into these uh, potatoes here. Let me try to shift you guys around, shift you down some so that you can see a little bit about, I can't move back no further. I got a little bit more out of that. <laughs> so I can try to give you guys uh, a look at this. Let me see if I move y'all back. I got stuff everywhere, y'all. Salt and pepper up on the on the dash. <laughs> I don't think I would get this any uh, lower without me going out of the frame. But anyway, I'm going to get these potatoes cut. 
in small pieces. I don't know if I'm gonna use all these potatoes, four of them, because I don't know how many can fit into the uh, thermos kettle. But, doing my best. I should have cooked on in the back. That's what I should have done. I should have cooked in the back. Once again, if y'all need some knives, these knives are good. Oh my goodness. First, I can't do a whole lot of them because this is not, that's not that big anyway. So this might be enough. Two potatoes sh should be enough. Now I got some potatoes going to be sitting around doing nothing. <laughs> Shoot. All right, I'm going to put these potatoes right here in my strainer. And then I'm going to give these bad boys a rinse. An outdoor rinse. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. These bad boys will get an outdoor rinse. <laughs> hey, it's bad life, baby. This is what you got to do. This is what you got to do. Don't need that water jog anymore. That's done. All right. Got this thermal kettle here. All right, got these potatoes rinsed off. Let's get them into this thermos kettle right here. So we're gonna put them in here. This is getting, uh, check this out, y'all. We gonna, we, gonna we gonna boil some potatoes today. Yes, we are. We're going to boil some potatoes today. Chopping my head off. This is my channel. <laughs> All right, we got these in here. I'm going to sit those right there. All right, guys, that's the prep work. Everything is done. We got the uh, cream of broccoli. The um, What else we got in here? Lord, I don't forgot and broccoli that's it and I got potatoes and a thermos kettle right here and i'm gonna give this about 30 minutes once that's got 30 minutes on it i'm gonna go ahead and put the potatoes in here the potatoes should be soft the potatoes probably get done uh sooner than this warm this is up but everything in here just needs to be warmed up and then i'll see you guys after all that happens see right now the blue eddy is showing 109 watts that's just with the thermos kettle when the rice cooker kicks in it's going to increase as you will see in a minute or so there you go you see it it increases to 500 watts that's with the rice cooker kicked in as well as the thermos kettle all right, guys, now I'm going to go ahead and take the potatoes out the thermos kettle and put them into the uh, rice cooker with the other things. Another outdoor. I'm going to pour some of this. Uh, I'm going to pour some of this hot liquid into the uh, rice cooker. <clears throat> Cause that cre uh, that cream of broccoli was really thick. I don't know if that's a good idea or not. All right, I already put a little bit in there, so let's get that a little stir. All right, there we go. All right, now let's go ahead and shift our attention over here. And I, I knew something stupid was gonna happen. Let's turn, disconnect that. All right.
one potato, two potato, three potatoes hot. <laughs> These potatoes are not even um soft. <laughs> I needed way more time for that, but anywho, a little too late now. Let me see if I can show y'all what's happening in this. Uh, see if I can show y'all what's happening in this uh, pot here. I need to go to film school. Anyway, we're gonna give this a stir. And let this do its thing for about all right <clears throat> we're gonna let that go for another i guess 15 20 minutes and then that's gonna do it i'll show you guys the final results all right guys i had to relocate because it was time for me to head to work but I did finish. Uh, not very pleased with this meal. <laughs> mm -mm. No. No. I needed more time. I didn't have the time. I shouldn't have never started cooking because I didn't have the proper time. But anyway. It's all over with now. There you go. Don't even know if you can see it or not. I also forgot to buy some bacon bits because that would have added some extra flavor to this. But no, this is definitely, I'm definitely putting this on my worst list. <laughs> The broccoli need a little more time. The potatoes need a little more time. Everything just needs a little more time. And I didn't have that time. So, needless to say, this meal, womp, 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 was a thumbs down. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. As always, thanks for taking a few minutes out of your day to watch my videos. I appreciate you. You know that. And I'll see you guys the next time.